What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into my good six, my good sis voice. Uh, uh, Keith Lee blamed for business losing customers and money. Let's get it. Keith Lee is trending out that this TikToker posted a video saying that he thought he was communicating with the real Keith Lee. Now, a couple of months ago, I reported on this TikToker and his mom. His mom owned a food truck called He's Sweetly still Season. About and Keith Lee actually popped up at one of her events. He bought several dinners for his family and he left a lot of money so people can eat for free for two hours. And he also paid for the barber to cut several people here for free for two hours as well. Now, he did pay by car thousands of dollars to the owner and once the funds got cleared she was supposed to distribute it to her employee which is Sherelle and to the barber well Sherelle the employee ended up putting the owner on blast because she never gave them their part of the money the owner went live after Sherelle put her on blast and she claimed that when she watched the video back that Keith Lee didn't say that she had to pay the barber and the employee she said that the money was supposed to be for her and her dinners well Keith Lee ended up dropping a video clarifying that she has to distribute the funds between the barber and the employee. To this day, we don't even know if they got paid, but since then, the owner's business has been going down, according to the son. He dropped a video yesterday claiming that his mom reached out to Keith Lee recently, telling her the hardship she's been going through and how she's been losing a lot of business and how her business hasn't been the same since he left. Well, the mom claimed after she emailed somebody that she thought was Keith Lee, quote unquote, this is the email address. Well, whoever she emailed, they ended up texting her back claiming that they were work with Keith Lee and that they were going to get Keith Lee to an event if she hosts another event and he will pay for dinners and he will pay for the barbers again. Well, the mom agreed. She set up a date. Keith Lee was supposed to come or the person, whoever she's texting, claimed that Keith Lee was supposed to come. The mom paid $11,000 for food and she- No. What? was expecting Keith Lee to be there. She was telling people in the community that Keith Lee was coming. Well, Keith Lee didn't show up because it wasn't Keith Lee that she was oh, talking to. And the mom God. claimed that she lost a lot of money behind this event. Now her son is taking the social media to let the world know that she was scammed by someone that claimed that they worked for Keith Lee. Now Keith Lee is currently in Chicago. Keith I think Keith Lee made it very clear of what he wanted to happen. You know, disperse the money, the end. <laughs> like, I think he was, you too. Lee hasn't mentioned anything about this situation as of yet. He's been in Chicago reviewing food while he's been out there. So I don't know if they saw that he was in Chicago and that he never mentioned leaving Chicago, but they claim that the person that texted them said that he was going to catch a flight to come to her event so no. he could pay for the two hours worth of food and he could pay for the barber. So yes, we know she wasn't talking to the real Keith Lee now. You know, he was in Chicago, all of that stuff. But why would y'all even think that y'all was talking to him and that shit say work tablet 11078263? <laughs> but when she was speaking to this person, they say his plane was landing and stuff. So we wasn't really any red flags. Still. But this email is a red flag. This is where the messages came from. I didn't see this until now. Mind y'all, I don't monitor my mom's phone all day. I got my own life, my own business. I don't have time for this. But this, yeah, it does look fake. If anybody can track this, contact them. I don't know. But, yeah, that's where all the messages came from. This is the cash app. The $300 was sent for the deposit. The total was $750, I believe. But they wanted a deposit of $300. See, for Sweetie Season event deposit to Justin the Great. And of course, she requested a refund, reported it as a scam, and filed a dispute with the bank. The only thing I don't have is the original email that she sent to Keith Lee. Um, but I don't really want to contact her right now. I want to at least give her a day to kind of not talk about this and think about this type of stuff. Um, but when she does get it to me, I will post it so y'all can see the email address that was sent to. But it's the email address that's in his bio on Instagram and TikTok. A and P found a dude at DreamCon I that guess. looked like DDG. Chat, who he look like, Chat? No, 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 no. Who do you, come on, sing the song, nigga. Just sing the song, nigga. Just say five of the shit. He look just like DDG, bro. DDG? That's what I just said. He don't what? sound like him. What do my mother just said? I was just, I was just. Yo, wait, hold on, you chill me out, bro. Wait, you been on my show before, right? Yo, wait, DDG. See, he even look like him. I was actually scared. Yeah, he's over. Kevin Hart had this to say about being on Kaisenet's stream. Of engagement and fanfare, right? You know, when you talk about a Kaisenet, you're talking about a guy 
we did a live stream and we had 750,000 people locked in for eight or nine hours. Literally. That's insane. Wild. That's, wild. Right? That's insane. For eight or nine hours, these people stayed and watched. And not until the sleepover aspect started did it drop to like 500, 400. But you're looking at Super Bowl-like numbers. You're looking at analytics and data that transfer and equate to what you deem to be the biggest versions of success for television, for ads, for your biggest spots, commercial moments. These guys no. and girls are cracking the code. So um, I love to like, I love to go and elevate. Like, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a person that's a, a lover of talent and a lover of opportunity. So me going and giving Kai Sinat the opportunity to embrace Man, that was the, one of the best things he could have ever done. And I don't know why people hating on the fact that Kevin Hart went to kick it with Kai. Stop hating. Damn. It's <laughs> me, and at the same time, me embrace him. I don't understand him. it. It's to make people go like, yo, these people are real. They got next. Yeah. Don't be late to the party and miss a train that's going to go no matter what. The train already you gone. figure out a way to figure it out. Like, Figure out a way to make that business become your business. And, you know, that was kind of like my my message to um, these studios, because I think there's a there's a hesitation um, that some have about giving the opportunity of, you know, the first movie or first TV show or investing the dollars. In Sierra dropped a video responding to Jordan, who was <laughs> upset in his video after mm. finding out that Sierra was trying to put him on child support. It's because I'm too busy being a motherfucking mother, 24 motherfucking seven. To yeah, a all them MFs, MFs. That's why it's on my Patreon. Make sure y'all tap into my Patreon. I am about to upload a video about this, though, again. But all the MFs and MFs, see, my, my channel be quick to get a yellow. I ain't got time. You know what type of money I can make and what I can really do for myself. Stop playing with me. Carmen just released a video with her lawyer saying that she's moving forward with a lawsuit and also she's sending him a cease and assist so he's not able to speak about her moving forward. So now that Corey is not able to speak on Carmen, his girlfriend Maddie is speaking out on his behalf. Keeping track and all of this is going to be a part of the lawsuit because we are moving forward with pursuing legal action. So whenever he's speaking of you, whenever he's discussing you, Make sure that you do have, are you forwarding to me so that we can keep track of it, so that we can include, even after the cease and desist where we warned him, that he is still continuing to mention your name. Oh, yes, her video with her lawyer uncalled for. They better because you were Corey. Child, ain't nobody even stunting that shit because now it really is overboard. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all mad and I got hit with a cease and desist. I don't give a fuck that y'all talking about. Like, motherfuckers is really handling shit. Fuck is you making a whole video about it for? Like, <laughs> That shit is some clown ass shit. I don't care what nobody say. And so it's just like, okay, period. Because we're doing the internet shit. Let's do the internet shit. You thought. You thought. I'll do the internet shit on behalf of my nigga. You thought. I just can't wait for this shit to really play out and shit to really unfold. And it's just like, so whether I want to be in it or don't want to be in it, I'm in it. This is my reality. This is that. You ain't got to be in it. Shut up. Sit down. She don't have to be in it. You could talk and say your, your shit from behind the scenes. Really? You should be telling him, like, bruh, <laughs> that was a lot. You doing a lot? God damn, just stop talking. He's a man, for Pete's sake. Stop that talking. That my family now. So, with that being said, oh, I'm in it. Oh, we here. We are all the way the fuck here. So, it's like, it's really, like, I, I'm done trying to be in denial about the situation. Uh, I'm in it. I'm in it. I'm in it. I'm in it. And so, all right, um, so now you're gonna take on his debt, you're gonna take on his cease and desist, you're gonna take on his um, uh, y'all might as well get married. Oh, you can't because they're in the middle of a divorce, yeah. It ain't no thing now, like, I ain't in it on some like, oh, I'm yeah, you are. You just like, claimed I'm not it. angry, I'm just like, oh god, everybody just stop, like, everybody, like, I wish just like everybody just stop. <sighs> the minions gotta stop. The fake pages gotta stop. I want all of y'all to stop. Oh, I want her to stop talking. All right, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I think Maddie's a cool person, um, at least from what I see, because I don't know, Shouty, but I will say that um, she barking up the wrong tree.
She playing the wrong game, and that's it's just a game that I would not be playing. So y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, yeah.